to another lit episode of Lucretia's. They call me Nelly. And it's your girl, Moody. And happy Friday, guys. TGIF. Hey. My birthday was Wednesday. I had a lit birthday. Thank you for all the birthday shout outs, all the birthday love. It was yes. all good. It's situation. Hey girl. Hey. Yo, how was y'all week, guys? Tell me about y'all week, yo. Yeah. I had a long week, you know. I had a birthday, this one birthday. Ugh. Don't have best friends, you know, that has man, has a man. Because, <laughs> you know, you don't get to spend it with them all the time. You want to start? Go ahead. First of all, when your birthday come, your man gonna be taking you out and doing stuff, your husband. And I ain't gonna be able to. The other day, every day, yeah, yep, I'm glad, I'm glad. I'm glad. Every other day, I get her or she get me and we go run our errands together. The other day, she wanted to be running errands with her husband. You gotta take care of home, right, y'all? He's taking care of. I take care of this home too. <laughs> this home and that. This, this home, home and that. I need to get old. home. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, and I ain't like that. And I had to call her and her man and tell them about. She the sure did. And he was like, "Oh, my bad." Yeah. <laughs> I missed her. Watch yeah. out now. What's up, bro? And now she got me for the rest of the night. And I'm gonna have my way. After birthday party. And I'm gonna have my way. But um. <laughs> This week, I think. Yes, you see my lipstick is popping right, right. Yeah, now. because they said that you don't have to wear a mask no more. So we, girl chat, is the lip on the mask mandate? What's up with that? Um, they're trying to make the world back to its regular dogma. I, me, I don't think that the world's ever going to be back to its regular dogma. There hasn't been a cure yet for COVID-19. There's a vaccine that doesn't prevent you from getting COVID. Therefore, put your mask on. My kid is wearing her mask, and that's for certain, and so am I. Now, put your mask on and get up out my face. Thank you. She didn't have her mask on yesterday, y'all. Where I'm I'm joking. Joking. <laughs> No, yes, I did. So, she needs to mind her business. <laughs> I wear to my mask. You see, she got her lipstick on because she didn't have her mask on. I sure did it. Freedom, freedom. Yeah. I need freedom from that mask. That shit did not prevent me from catching COVID either. What the fuck? So why do I have to get this mask on my face and get all these mask acne? It's called masking. Whatever. <laughs> I'm sick of it. I want to go back to the normal. Y'all niggas wasn't wearing oh, no mask. Wait, wait y'all. Sorry for the N-word, but yeah, I wasn't wearing no mask when everybody was like the fool and all these other things. Nobody was doing nothing, none of that either. People was dying from that too, you know? So. You're happy. What about the kids? The kids got to wear their mask? Um, I'm pretty sure they wear it when they, if they feel like it, but they don't have to. So it's not a rule for, for, for home, like wear your mask when you get in school? No. Oh. Nah. If they want to, I tell her that I, I still give it to them. Mm. But it's, on, it's up to them. Because at the end of the day, it's not... What is it doing, honestly? Did you get protected from a mask? Um. Well, actually, I had COVID when COVID was COVID, COVID. And I wasn't wearing a mask then because it wasn't... I mean, didn't have to. When they mandated it, I started wearing masks. I don't know if it protected me or if it didn't protect me, but I'm glad that they make people wear masks because there's a lot of reasons. One, um, niggas' breasts be hot. Yeah. Um, <laughs> two, um, I don't want people talking in my face and then droplets possibly getting on me, whether you have COVID or not. I just rather you talk just to get me. out my face. I rather you talk to me with your mask. Yeah, because you talk to everybody you see. Like, if she stopped talking hey to everybody, girls, say hi from a distance and keep it moving. But nah, she has to have a whole dialogue of what happened from last year to this year. Like, and keep it moving. Guys, hello and how y'all doing? She don't like talk. She's mad mean. I don't know. We're very opposite. I'm mad nice. She's mad mean. Like, why aren't you talking to the people? That I do talk to talk. us. I do talk to the people. Everybody in here, I talk to Everybody in where? This house? No. In the, in the world? Yep. 
Yeah. Well, a lot of you was, y'all yeah, know me. I'm moody, right? And I'm nice, right? Nah. Exactly. Yeah, we were, okay. Because I remember, all right, we ain't gonna get back. Yeah. All right, yeah. so, yeah, wear your mask. It's very important to wear your mask. But I do really suggest, like, if you're in a um, large space where a lot of people, com if, if it's compact or not, wear your mask. Yeah, in a small setting, like, if you're at your desk or, like, you, if you're at your area, yeah, you can take your mask down because mm. it's just me. But, yeah, when you start getting up to go walk and talk, now nah, put your mask on yeah. and... In a closed place, place three with feet. people, three or more people in a room with you. Yeah, like, you got to wear your mask because it's very important. Yes, sir. I have a question. Question. Tell me what you think about me. Ask your question, girl. When is it sufficient for you to move on from a past relationship? I'm moving on. Oh. When is it? Because I find that a lot of time, men and both women, we break up with someone and then there's still like a, I just need to get my toothbrush from his house and then it's going to be over, over. Like, when is it time for you to move on? If we, when you break up with somebody, should you move on or should you linger around? Like, what is it that you're holding on to? I'm going to let you get the floor because I got a lot to say. But go, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, you know that, you know that saying what Tom heals all wounds or whatever. Yeah, when well you got a cut. So like some, <laughs> y'all crying. So when you somebody break up with you, you kind of it's like a shock factor, right? Most of the time. Okay. Right. If somebody, you're. It ain't really a shock factor. I would disagree. Sometimes. Why are you shocked? Sometimes. You Sometimes. knew that wasn't working out. Nah, some Months people. Then, they just be screaming. Some people don't know. At the wedding day, like, yeah, it's over. Yeah, you see them bitches getting left at the stand. Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 but for real. Wait, okay. It, like, sometimes a person is comfortable with somebody, and they don't care whether they're treating them bad or not. They don't want to start over. So, when you decide to say, all right, I'm done, them phone calls, because people just don't stop talking to people just like that. Unless they really did something bad or hurt your feelings really bad to get that, you know, response from you. Um, I just think when you, when y'all know it's really, really done, because people say it's done and then be like, hey, good morning, big head. Or, yeah, right. Like, when that, liking when you don't, pick. right, liking your pics, if you, so I, maybe, maybe it depends on how long the relationship was too. Cause if you took in years, it's going to take a few months to get over that situation. A few months. Well, some people, I don't know. If I break up with you or you break up with me, no matter which way the roles were, yeah, nah. Bye, especially if you break up with me. <laughs> oh, especially if you break up with me because there's nothing left to talk about. I don't want to talk about it. Like, oh, can I talk But what if you, you want to still be with that person? But if they don't want to be with me. Yeah. And I'm, I'm like, before I beg, I'm going to just suffer. There's, I've seen some people go through that, but I just want to be with her or I just want to be with him. But, Moment. But, but. What I'm saying is, at what point, or when, or when do you think is it, like enough is enough? You, you've told me you didn't want to be with me, and I've accepted that because that's kind of like the harsh reality. I don't want to be with you. Right. Okay. Like you can't make me be with you or change my mind if I say okay. I don't want to be with you. So if you tell someone you don't want to be with them, right, and you accept that, are you now going to? Keep nitpicking at it like, oh, well, good morning, big head. And, hey, I like your picture. Yeah, because people I'm, are selfish. Yeah, I'm deleting you up for every... I am so reckless. Yeah. I You you are blocked on every Done. entity. You and your family Done. and everybody affiliated with Done. you, your friends, blocked. Done. And you end up, yo, a rat and a can back, like, bye. And you got to do that because you know why? 
it like you don't want to ever think let that you don't ever want that person to think that they can play with you like that. And that's exactly what people do. That's why oh, when play it's with over, your new person. it's over. When it's over, it's over. When it's over, it's over. Don't linger. Don't linger. Don't because linger. all that's gonna do is give me leverage. If I know I could break up with a mother ever mm -hmm. and still call them because I'm bored or because I want money or because I need a ride or for any thing, I'ma do it. Yeah. yeah. I'ma do it. That's true. While I talk to a hundred people, I'ma yeah. do it. Nah. Bottom line is that when it's over, it's over. I have a question. What about the current person now that you moved on to saying that, oh, I'm going to keep in contact with my ex? <laughs> you won't be with me, baby. You won't be with me. And I'm not about to feel insecure or come second or feel like she's putting an input in our relationship. And your focus is on how that person still feels. And you can't focus on us. If you're not focusing on me, me, Moody, you ain't, I ain't dealing with you. And I'm going to leave the very next moment. I'm going to help on that one. I'm leaving the very next moment. I don't, I don't moment. think that there's anything that you and your ex should be talking about. And even if y'all share kids, there's nothing that y'all need to talk about every single day. Like, and it's not that many milestones happening in right. your life that you got to just be, oh, hi. Then, you know, you just said, boop. Oh, yeah. you just. Wait, oh, he just burped. <laughs> That's yeah, right? Like, oh, let me they see do all JJ and JJ is one month. No, so here's what we're going to do. If you're an ex, you're an ex for a reason. And is, is there's no need to communicate, especially if there's no ties. If there's no kids involved, then you should be a non-factor. But if you got kids, I'm, I'm kind of going to give you some leeway and it's going to be boundaries to that too because people overstep them from time to time because they use the kid thing. Oh, I got kids so I get to reach out and do this and do that. Yeah, but nah. I agree with you. Because I, agree I, have, with a, I you. have a scenario. All right, you, you with your new boo and he has a baby and the girl calls like, oh, little um, Nora is sick. Right? Mm -hmm. Um, in the middle of the night. But Nora's not dying. She's just sick. Yeah. Like, because people right. get sick. How do you feel about your now new boo, like, getting up and running to the hospital or doing any of those things? I mean, if the baby's in the hospital, I wouldn't mind. Because we, we getting up, going to the hospital? All right, let's go. <laughs> we going to the hospital. The so, here's my take on that. Because I always love to use, like... Okay, so little Nora's sick, and you go into the hospital, and then and, and, and I'm and I don't have no type of medical background, so go to the hospital. Let me know what happened. Me standing there for moral support for who? Baby Nora or baby mama? Yeah, I think the, you should go to the hospital once they say, "Oh, the, the baby right. is terminal." <laughs> <laughs> God forbid. No. <laughs> she's, she's, she's the I mean, yeah, no, like, but no, like, or they can't get the zoo. fever down or something like that. Yeah. Or they got to stay overnight. Then maybe I can work with you. You go home. I'll stay with the baby one day. One day, you, you know, we I, I'm not, I'm not here. I'm not here for it. Like, you have to, there has to be boundaries. And that's why when it's over, it's over. Now, I have a, I have a flip question to this boundary. Okay. Is the boundary just like, oh, boom. All right, I'm done with you and you are my life. Now, is it okay for an associate or a friend, somebody you know, to date your ex? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't that a part of moving on? Moving oh, no, on your no, ex? No, no, no. no. So I'm absolutely the... moving on from my ex. Right. Oh, and my friend too then. <laughs> and my friend too. Yo, you can't have it all. No, I'm moving on from my friend. Oh, I'm but moving on from my friend. <laughs> oh, I'm moving on from my friend. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm moving on from my friend. Yeah, she ain't, just you ain't is. no friend of mine. And you're no friend of mine if you want to date somebody that I was dating. Yeah, I'm crying because that's the fact. Oh, fact. <laughs> nah, because... What do, you, what do you say? Nigga, you date one of my exes, it's going to be a problem. What is it in my exes? Like, it, it's not that I feel... 
Like, oh, I want to be better. Like, what I have, gonna, a, I have a flip to we, that flip. To uh, that flip. Uh, <laughs> so what about when they say, oh, well, you're married. Oh, what do you care? Yeah, it's the same shit. You can't date my ex. Like, you cannot. Whether date. I'm married or whether I'm whatever I am. Whatever I am. And it's not that I care about the person. It's like, damn. Like, if I close my eyes today and tomorrow, you gonna be with my husband too? What about this though? I saw this on. Um, That's trifling. I saw this on. Um, what was it on? I forget what I saw this on, but it was a question. Leaving your friend in the house with your spouse. I would leave you in the house with your love. It's different. I know, but you wouldn't like. Do you have like one other friend or two other friends? I, I have like three friends in my life. And, uh, and just it's safe to say you will be that, that's been around like that. Um, hmm. no, I have more than three friends, but um, I'm just thinking, all my friends, I won't leave in the house with my husband. But no, 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 that I can't do that. I can leave you like if I'm going down the steps. You ain't no. So I, the the question was that oh um you had to go somewhere and you left your friend in the house with your spouse. It's no reason you my friend, so you coming with me. What are you sitting there for? But is there something wrong with that? Yeah, a little bit. It is. It is. It is. Now I would do it because I trust my friends. But we not gonna act like this world ain't just evil. Certain people, certain friends, um, just be waiting for that opportunity oh, to be in your I'm shoes. I'm close to the free set. They gonna take me right to that. Yeah, house. absolutely. So I, I honestly, when I when I when I heard this question, I laughed because I'm like, I definitely leave my friend in the house with my man. Because if you, if I don't think that you're trustworthy to be left in the house with my nigga, then you ain't gonna be like you house probably not even gonna be and in my not, house, and you're not gonna be my friend, and you're not gonna be my friend, and you're not gonna be my friend, and so, my nigga ain't gonna be my nigga no more either. Right. So I, I, I'm like my friends, I trust to a T, and Me my too. guy, I trust to a T. So I'll leave you if I gotta go somewhere. And my friends have a, a direct connect to my spouse. They can call them. They got his number. Like I don't feel like nothing. Crazy is going on like never a thought in my right. mind. If I think that if I gotta think about it, then I'm not even gonna do it because those people aren't even probably welcome in my crib. Because I do have a lot of people that I like she said talk to because I talk a lot and we cool, but I'm not gonna leave you in the crib. Yeah, we know what type of time y'all be on, so we ain't about to do that. Yeah, because we both gonna go to jail and nobody got time for that, right? Because who gonna bring you to come? Right. right. <laughs> So yeah, so it, it's a lot when it comes to that ex situation. I really feel like getting back to the main, main topic, topic at hand that there should be a, a sufficient amount of time for you to grieve and then move on. And mm -hmm. I don't feel like you should be doing nothing in a round circle. Everything should be like a straight line ahead. You shouldn't be backtracking whether you have kids or not. You shouldn't be trying to date my ex, whether I moved on or not. And you definitely shouldn't be in my crib trying to have your way. That's a fact. You said it. You said it. You feel me, sis? You said it. It's because I've, I've, I've been told by a friend that, oh, I spoke to the friend to tell her that I wanted to date her baby father. And I was like... What? <laughs> you think telling me makes it not, nah, ma'am? Yeah. Yeah, that's Because crazy. telling me doesn't make me feel better, and it doesn't make you lit. Like, oh, I'm a real woman, because I told you, no. You don't get You me. a dirtbag, and I yeah. don't want to be your friend anymore, and you can talk to them. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, just like, that's crazy. Stop trying to request niggas. After they broke your heart and you broke their heart, they, like <laughs> yeah. move on. Yeah, move on. Move like, on. Stop trying to be my friend, cause I ain't got no good intentions after that. Yeah. Like I don't wish I'm you bad, you but I don't have nothing for you. I'm gonna get you wrong.
<laughs> yeah. So for everything yeah. you got, your car, your everything, your SSI yeah. check is all of it. Just, just like move on. When you say you, like, and that's why people gotta watch what they say. If you say say it's over, say it's over. And yeah, coming on. back five minutes later, I was just joking, girl. Yeah, no. you know what I mean. That shit. Yeah, nah. Mm -hmm. But don't linger. Life is too short, guys. Life is yeah, too move short. On. And, move and, on. And, and find something better, cause trust me, when God closes one door, He opens he up another. Definitely open. And up what another. if it was meant for you, it would be. And because it's not working out, that's His messages. Those are His signs for us to. Keep it moving. Yeah. I mean, come on now, cause <laughs> Yeah, I'm crying. Yo, God. Thank you, Jesus. Is all I got to say. Oh, you right. have tuned in. Hold up. Y'all see her new hair? That's that birthday hair. Um You have been tuned in to another episode of Equations TV. They call me Nelly. And it's your girl, Moody. And we love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, to share, and to like, and to comment. And we'll see you next Friday. Bye.